Listen, there are three gates you must handle. I wrote them down here. Number one is your prison gate. Number two is your city gate. Number three is your house gate. The prison gate speaks of your freedom. The city gate speaks of your prosperity. They are poor because they don't know their way to the city. The house gate speaks of your rest. Somebody shall rest. It's a labor to enter into thy rest. In Acts chapter 12, these three gates were handled. The time they brought him out of the prison, the Bible says he passed through the first world, the second world. When he got to the city gate that was built with iron, it opened in their own accord. When he got to the house gate, Rhoda did not open the gate. Lift your voice, say Rhoda open the gate. Rhoda open the gate. If you must enter rest in destiny, then your house gate must open. Your city gate man must be handled. Am I speaking here? Imagine Jesus died and took the blood of atonement. When he was to present it before the father, he got to the gate and the gate man spoke and said, who is this Lord of glory? He said, the Lord mighty, the Lord strong in battle. He was confronting the blood of atonement and evil gate man. There are some of you, you carry what it takes, but you can't take what it should take. Gifted, but nothing to show. Beautiful for nothing. Good for nothing, anointed for nothing. I prophesy to that person today. Anyone standing as an evil gate man on yours in your city gate, by this encounter, we command them to aspire. Amen. Somebody shall evil gate man. As I pray now, as I pray now, die by fire. Open your mouth, clap your hands in prayer. 